Right. Sure, sure. Any, any one of them. Okay. Okay. You can have the kachori. <laughs> Is this constant reiteration of the fact that the public institutions are built on taxpayers' money, mm -hmm. and then? Oh, I'm glad you raised this. Yeah. I've written about this. He's written about it in his note as well. Mm -hmm. huh? See, you talk about taxpayers' money. In uh, that's what I've written. I can only say that I've read something else which is even worse than what I've written. But anyway, in an answer to an RTI. Filed by the Indian Express, no less, national newspaper, to the RBI, Reserve Bank of India. Please tell us the amount of money owing by various people to the public sector banks. They are not talking about private banks, public sector banks. After some time, they came up with the reply. <coughs> that is between 1990 and not. No, 20. 13 and 15. No, no, I, that's another thing. Okay. I'll come to that. Between 19. Anyway, it's about 10 years. Uh, plus 3 more. It's been split into two parts. They said the industry owed us 2.11 lakh crores, out of which roughly half the amount of 1.4 lakh crores has been written off as bad loans between 2013 and 2015. The bulk of the write-off has been during the last year, 14 to 15. It's a lot of money. I have said it. This is a lot of money. Surely. <clears throat> Somebody's money it is. It is taxpayers' money. All public sector banks are savings of simple people who uh, got paid salaried workers here, there, everywhere. They put their money in these banks. These banks are treated like private little treasury boxes or treasure chests. You dip in and say, Le bachu, tu lele. <laughs> tu vi lele. Ki farak panda. It's not ours. So, now, when you write off, told her to come to Mamu's. So when you write off, so I have said, whose money have they written off? Taxpayers. And you are envious of the petty amounts we give to students as a what is it called? Well, something. Stipend, no, no, not that famous thing. Subsidy. No, stipend. Affirmative action. Eh? If it is an affirmative action, you envy that also. Maybe a few hundred thousand maybe hai, whether it's a Bamula in Hyderabad or a Kanaya in Delhi, or somebody else somewhere. So, did so, do so, honge, kitne honge, do azar honge chalo, multiplied by whatever it is. Kitne crore bante hai? Or tum log ye, kitne crore aisi, maaf kar do. I mean, किसका पैसा गया? वो टैक्सपेयर का ही गया ना कि आपने डाला आसमान से नहीं ना तो आई हैव रिटेन इट ये था स्तु कुछ नहीं हुआ तो लाइक दैट यू हैव टू क्वेश्चन एंड दे हैव नो रूम टू स्टे एंड मैक्सिमम अमाउंट ऑफ वाज गिवन after our present lot have taken charge. That's a fact. Okay? Incontrovertible fact. RBI will tell you that. So, this is just an excuse to talk about taxpayers' money. I think it's absolute nonsense. For thousands of years, the so-called upper caste have exploited these people for thousands of years. That means you have exploited me. <laughs> but right now you're getting it back. <laughs> so, so, today we are in a position to have the nerve to criticize few people who, from where, from what background are the poor things risen out of sheer, you know, guts. Their parents, their mother, this, that, they worked very hard to bring up that child. 
It's not like some of the well-to-do like us. I include myself. It's not the same. I think uh, I'm glad you raised the question because I think it's not taxpayers' money. Everybody is enjoying the taxpayers' money in this country. Everybody, including the ministers, parliamentarians, and the delegates, and see how much multiplication you have done to the government machinery. The British ruled this country for 200 odd years with the Viceroy's Executive Council of 12 people. 12. One, two. Buckle my shoe. That's all. Today, how many Sarkari knockers, Sarkari departments, they, that, and every time you say, no, no, we will reduce government spending. And each time government spending is going up. <laughs> Obviously, they got the meanings mixed up.